Hi above Earth, something unusual is happening. Chinese satellites are dancing around each other in space, not by accident, but with precision and purpose. These aren't ordinary orbital adjustments. According to the U.S. Space Force, they're practicing military dogfighting maneuvers, the kind that could redefine future warfare. This isn't science fiction. It's real, it's happening now, and it's raising serious alarms. We'll delve into what these maneuvers entail, why they're causing ripples of concern globally, and what this means for the future of space as both a domain of exploration and potential conflict. In 2024, the U.S. Space Force made a surprising observation, five Chinese satellites performing coordinated movements in low Earth orbit. These satellites, 3 Shuryan 24C and 2 Shuryan 605A, B experimental spacecraft, weren't just adjusting their positions or following routine orbital paths. They were actively maneuvering around each other in a synchronized pattern. This level of coordination immediately caught attention. What stood out wasn't just that they were moving, but how. These satellites weren't bumping around blindly. They were executing calculated proximity operations, getting close, repositioning, then separating, all while maintaining full control. In military terms, this was referred to as dogfighting in space. Now, the term dogfighting might bring to mind fighter jets in high-speed aerial combat, pulling GS and dodging missiles. In space, however, it's something entirely different. There are no tight turns or sonic booms. Space dogfighting is deliberate, strategic, and often slow. Because satellites follow orbital mechanics, even small adjustments take immense planning, and the timing and coordination observed here were anything but casual. This wasn't the first instance of such behavior from a foreign power. In past years, similar tactics have been seen, such as a Russian satellite releasing a smaller satellite that then approached a U.S. asset. But this Chinese operation was different in scale, precision, and ambition. The maneuvers demonstrated key technical achievements. To pull this off, China had to master high-precision propulsion control, autonomous satellite navigation, and real-time communication between satellites. These are foundational technologies for more advanced space operations, such as on-orbit servicing, intelligence gathering, and yes, even satellite interception. And here's the twist. These weren't openly declared military satellites. They were officially labeled experimental and scientific. That's the gray zone we're entering, where satellites may carry dual roles, offering civilian value while being ready for military use if needed. The United States has always relied on its technological dominance in space to maintain a strategic edge. However, the dogfighting demonstration by Chinese satellites sends a powerful signal that this edge may be eroding. This isn't just about satellites playing a game of tag, this is about orbital readiness, the ability to challenge U.S. assets in space, and ultimately, the balance of power in a domain vital to modern warfare. At the heart of the concern is the narrowing of the space capability gap. What used to be a clear U.S. lead is now more of a foot race. The maneuvers seen in 2024 weren't theoretical or small-scale. They were practical demonstrations of battlefield tactics adapted for orbit. And if one country can maneuver satellites like this today, they could develop the ability to interfere with or disable another country's satellite tomorrow. Space assets play a crucial role in everything from communications and surveillance to missile warning and GPS guidance. The mere threat of disabling or disrupting those assets could tilt the scales in any future military conflict. What makes this even more pressing is that satellites can now be launched quickly, deployed in swarms, and operate autonomously, all of which raise the stakes. The U.S. Space Force, created just five years ago, is already sounding the alarm. With only 15,000 personnel and a small slice of the defense budget, it is being asked to secure the most technically demanding and rapidly evolving domain of military operations. Leadership within the Space Force has expressed concern that, without urgent investment, the U.S. could fall behind. And not just fall behind technologically, but in its ability to respond and adapt to dynamic threats in orbit. There's also the matter of interpretation. When a satellite moves closer to another in orbit, there's no universal definition of whether it's hostile or not. In a tense geopolitical moment, an unexplained orbital maneuver could be misinterpreted as an attack or provocation. This isn't just about technological competition, it's about strategic advantage. Space is the backbone of modern warfare, from communications to missile defense, and any nation capable of interfering with those systems holds immense power. 
The big question now is, how will the U.S. respond to this growing threat? For decades, the international community treated space as a sanctuary, a place for science, exploration, and collaboration. But the reality has changed, and China's recent actions confirm it. Space is now a military theater, whether we like it or not. The concept of space militarization isn't new. However, the intensity, pace, and technological maturity we're witnessing today are unprecedented. We're not just talking about rockets or satellites anymore. We're talking about re-time maneuvering, offensive capabilities, and the strategic use of orbital positioning. The Chinese dogfighting maneuvers in 2024 reflect more than just engineering prowess. They're a clear sign of military preparedness, and they come amid broader patterns of behavior. Over the last decade, China has steadily expanded its military presence in orbit, including developing anti-satellite missiles, satellite jammers, and potentially even robotic spacecraft designed for close proximity operations. These capabilities are seen as integral to the People's Liberation Army's long-term strategic goals. Space gives any nation eyes, ears, and communication capabilities on a global scale. If those can be denied to an opponent or defended more aggressively, it changes everything about how modern conflicts are fought. The timing of these maneuvers is also important. The world is entering a new era of great power competition with technology at the center. Space is no longer a neutral zone. It's a pillar of national security, economic dominance, and geopolitical influence. And China's goal is clear, match or surpass the U.S. in space to gain leverage on Earth. In response, the United States is pivoting. The Space Force is lobbying for increased funding, more personnel, and stronger integration with allied space programs. There's also a growing call to modernize global space law, especially the outdated 1967 Outer Space Treaty, which never envisioned the kind of operations we're seeing now. Meanwhile, countries like Russia, India, and even private corporations are watching closely. Space is increasingly being seen as the fourth battlefield, and every player wants a seat at the table. As technology becomes cheaper and more accessible, the potential for conflict in space doesn't just rise, it accelerates. The revelations about China's satellite maneuvers serve as a stark reminder that space is no longer a sanctuary from geopolitical tensions. As nations continue to develop and demonstrate capabilities that could threaten the assets of others, the risk of conflict in space becomes more tangible. This underscores the urgent need for international dialogue, updated treaties, and robust policies to ensure that space remains a domain for peaceful exploration and cooperation, rather than a new frontier for warfare. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.